Hi guys, this is Spartan765. Today I'm doing a um, video of the three most common, commonly used Russian cartridges of the first half of the 20th century. Um, this is just an education for, um, or educational video, informa information video, informative. I also have some examples of some firearms that use those cartridges. <clears throat> um, okay, now these cartridges here, obviously the three most common of the first 20th century, first part of the 20th century. The 762x54R, the 762x39, and the 762x25. <clears throat> As you can see, there's an obvious size difference between the three. Now, we're going to start out here. The um, 762x54R was first accepted into service in 1891 via the Mos Nagant M91. Um, the rifle I have here is an example that takes that. It's a Mos Nagant Dragoon rifle made in 1926. This is converted to a 9130. All they did when they did that was just change the sights to metric and um, changed out the stock. But other than that, it's a Dragoon rifle. Same barrel length, same parts and everything like that. Um, that's an example of a round that took this. This gun was used, or this type of gun was used, um, not necessarily this exact gun. Obviously, this wasn't used in World War I, but the M91s were used in World War I. Um, which is the same thing as this, except um, different stock and sights are in Arshans. Uh, used World War. This was used World War One all the way up to um, 1947. They quit. Well, they actually used them as snipers up until 1947. They kept making. Well, they kept making them until 1947. As they quit making. Um, mass producing the 9130s in 1945. They produced a few in 1946. Halted in 19, mid of 1946 and just only produced a few snipers in 1947. Okay, that's it for this one. Oh, and this round here, just other other firearms that take this round, not necessarily from that time period. Um, obviously not from the time period, but the Dragunov sniper rifle takes this cartridge. The Gorgov machine gun, which is from the time period takes this uh, cartridge. Um, let me think, a couple other guns. All the most of the guns. Uh, the Gorgov machine gun. Those are the most common guns that took this cartridge and modern firearm, the Dragunov. And there are many firearms that take this cartridge, not just the ones I listed. Okay, now as we move on to the next oldest cartridge, um, here we have the 762 by 25 this cartridge was invented by Fedor Tokarev in, well, it was approved in 1930. Um, first used in the Tokarev TT-30 pistol, which, this is not a TT-30, this is a, well, the TT-30 they didn't use that much because it had some problems, so it, the, the design was modified in 1933. Most of them are called TT-33s. An actual TT-30 pistol is considered a very valuable collector's item because they didn't make very many of them. Um, this is a pistol used in the first half of the 20th century, accepted in 1933, the finalized design. Um, this is a Romanian copy of a TT-33. This is a Romanian TTC um, exact copy. Um, they're very accurate pistols. I mean, they, they have no jams, no troubles at all. Very nice, very well built. This round here is probably, from what I've read and what I've not just what I've read from the performance and actual online voting. From many people say they prefer this over the 9mm, and I can easily see why. I personally would take it any day over a 9mm. It has a 9mm casing, like the part before the bottleneck down is like the exact same size as a 9mm. But the thing is, the bullet's smaller, which means it can go faster, has less of an arc, and is more accurate. So, yeah, I mean, it, you're talking about a difference of 2mm. And knockdown power, the bullet isn't going to really be moving. This will be moving faster, so the knockdown power is about the same. Um, other than that, it's a rim cartridge. And other guns that took, uh, other guns that take this or took it during the time period were the uh, PPD, which is a precursor to the PPSH-41, took this. Um, another one is the uh, PPS, which is a was made in 1943. It's kind of a 
I don't know, e e more easily produced PPSH41, except not really. It's stamped, all stamped. It's just as good. Um, there are limitations in this cartridge. So this cartridge here, once you get past about 50 meters, really it's not, you know, you lose most of your accuracy. I mean, it can, with this pistol here, in a vise, I can get maybe, I can get eight, eight to nine inch groupings in a vise with this at 100 meters. And I have to be aiming really high, pretty high to get that, even get it to hit the target. Um, Tokarev sights are battle sighted, or battle, or, um, they're battle sighted at 25 meters. At 25 meters, this pistol's right on. Just standing, I can get about six inch groupings with it at 25. But um, the practicality in this cartridge and stopping power, and you know, before it loses a lot of its uh, uh, punch, is after 50 yard, or 50 meters. It's just pretty much useless after that. So it was used in submachine guns and this pistol. Really, you're not shooting anything over 50 meters anyway with something like that. Now, but they did see a need for a cartridge that could do more than this, but didn't have as much weight, recoil, or they wanted something that was an intermediate cartridge, something that could do, something that could be fired rapidly like this, yet something that had the decency and accuracy and enough range to get a target at medium to long range. Then they came up with the um, 762 by 39 in 1943. Um, this cartridge was first used in the RPD, which got accepted in 1944, which was used very, very, very lightly in World War II. There were only a few times it was used. Like in the taking of Berlin, there were a few of them, few of them used. They were in the, only in the hundreds. There weren't very many of them. Um, the next firearm that takes this cartridge is the SKS, which I have an example of. This is a Yugoslavian SKS, but the Russian SKS in 1945 took this which was accepted in 1945 the only difference is this has a grenade launcher the Russian one doesn't um, with the SKS this you're able to hit someone out to about 400 meters with this for well it, it, it's a practical range in an SKS is 400 meters um, it'll go a little further than that but after that it loses most of its ballistics I don't, it can't really hit anything out past 400. You're really pushing it at 400 meters to hit something with that anyway. Um, you could probably hit something with it. Yeah, another gun that uses this, obviously, as we all know, is the AK-47. Now, with my AK-47, I can hit something at 300 meters. I can hit a target. I've never tried it at 400 meters because I don't have a range long enough for that. But I can hit a target. It gets about 12-inch groupings at 300 meters. Well, 10 to 12-inch. Um... It's a pretty good round. I mean, they realized that you're not going to be shooting. Most most um, firefights occurred within 300 within 300 uh, meters, so they did not see a need for a big, huge round like the 7.62 5.4R. I mean, this this smaller round enabled you to carry more, enabled you to fire faster. Whoops! There we go. There goes the gun. Okay, so. Again, these are just cartridges used in the first half of the 20th century. Other cartridges used after that, common use by the Russian army, include the 8x19 Makarov, which is used in a pistol. I don't really like that cartridge. It's kind of wimpy. I mean, it doesn't have very much knockdown power. doesn't have very much strength. It's smaller than a 9... The cartridge has less powder than the 9mm, or regular 9mm Luger. Um, it's a good cartridge, though, for a small pistol, I guess. Um, other cartridges include the... 7 or 5.45 by uh, 39, which is the set or AK 40 AK 74 round. Very good round, very accurate, moves very fast. Better than the 5.56. I'm not going to say the 5.56 in this one, the 5.56 NATO, because that wasn't invented in Russia. It's used today in some instances, like in the AK 102 or whatever. But uh, I don't know, I just don't really like the 556 all that much it's an okay round but i take the out of all these this is my favorite i take the uh, 762 by 39 any day over a 556 for just for knockdown power if you guys got any comments or questions about this video feel free to send me a message uh spartan 765 out